morning. First coffee is down. I got rid of my Airbnb position on the drop right at the open down to 148. So got in a small profit there, locked it in. And I actually bought into Pfizer, PFE. I got in right under um, 35 and 90 cents. I think it was around 35 and 85 cents. Bought some calls out to January of next year. And it went out quite nice so far. We have a little margin of safety so far. I'm trying to see how it closes for the end of the day. If it can get above, you know, 36.90 before the close of today, that's gonna be a solid move. Um, I think it could potentially trend for the rest of the day, I mean, for the rest of the week. Um, obviously, I'm not looking to hold on for too long, so it should be a, a fun fun trade. I'm gonna be reading some, uh, some articles because there's a lot of news coming still, of course. Like I mentioned, it's a very, very busy week. But I might be going making myself uh, another coffee. I wanted to share a little bit of the reality of doing this. You know, people don't realize that trading is not just buying something and gambling and, and doing that type of stuff. No, no. It is quite a very psychological game that reveals your weakness, weakest points. It really exposes you as a person. And a person is like a ball of emotion. Um, so it really, uh, it really makes you dig deep into figuring out how you, how you process information, how you process your emotions. Um, there's, there's no such thing as getting rid of your emotions, but there is controlling it and there is redirecting that energy. So when it comes to trading, a lot of it honestly is sitting, it's honestly doing nothing. And, and I, I saw this tweet the other day where becoming a great trader is basically becoming great at saying no. And that is pretty, pretty true because you have to sit here, either if you're working for yourself and you're doing it solo like me, or if you work for a hedge fund, or if you manage money, etc., you have to say no to the pressure of the competitors. You know, if you have a guy next to you that's making a ton of money and you're sitting on money and you're not, you have to say no to like trade ideas that don't look perfect. You have to say no to, to the, the clients that are sending you messages. Like, why haven't you made a move? Uh, you know, you got the money sitting there. I see other people making money. What's going on? And again, if you're working for yourself, you have to bet on yourself. You have to trust yourself. If you have clients, the clients have to trust you and they have trusted you because they already gave you their money and they have to really follow you and stick to you throughout thick and thin to be able to show at the end what you're capable of doing. So it is a quite uh, a, an interesting bond you have to create between yourself as well as the bond you create between some clients. And trading is, is definitely, you can definitely get a little carried away and, and moving money around and executing stuff because you, you're either you're, you're on a winning streak because you, you, you feel like you're seeing the market better than before. Um, you're eager to make money. You got bored of sitting around doing nothing. You feel unproductive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in reality, it is, it is, it's, it's an art. It is, it is quite an art. So right now I've been on, on a sort of a, a streak in a sense. And I, I, I've noticed today that I felt a little more um, on, on edge in the sense of like, okay, I want to make, I want to keep making some moves. I want to keep being productive. Now, the Pfizer trade, I'm gonna very, I'm gonna sit on quietly, be, be very careful. Um, the additional cash I have, I'm just gonna sit on. I'm not gonna take any other trades for the moment. I want to see how the week pans out because this is, like I said, a very important week. Uh, so I'm gonna just sit back and watch a little bit and I'm gonna force myself to do it So I'm just gonna watch sit on this play and you guys are gonna watch for the rest of the week um, Let's see what happens if I do attempt to make a trade or not I don't think I'll be making one until maybe Thursday or Friday at least so that's that's kind of my my parameters for the week uh, Regardless, I'm gonna take you bunch outside because it finally stops raining get a little fresh air Go check out on the trees because as much as I love doing this, as much as I love, love being in my studio and I want to, I have some ideas of things I need to add to it, which are coming. It's just, I don't really want to purchase them quite yet. And then other things I kind of just want to find around or build. Uh, the trees are just really fun to, to like do and look at. I don't know why. It's, um, it's such, such a beautiful thing. <laughs>
this, this is the day's range, 7 a.m. all the way here to the left. This was the morning run, which I purchased somewhere in this range right there. And then this support here, resistance there, and it's trading in this little range right there. Now, their earnings just came out. So if you look into their earnings a little bit further, they beat earnings. That's probably why I rose in the morning. But their revenue was hit a little bit. And yeah, people are like, it's because the COVID vaccine and all this stuff, it went down. They're not gonna be making money off XYZ vaccine. Well, yes, of course, we weren't expecting it to be around for so long. It's, it's old news. That's why if people are selling this, right? People are selling it because of revenue decreased, but they're also gonna be cutting costs, right? While they beat earnings and they're trading at such a nice valuation of seven times earnings in an environment where we have companies trading 50 times earnings like <coughs> Airbnb. That means that if people wanted to restructure their portfolio, right? Move some money around, take some profit from some other stuff and then go into like the biotech sector, which is kind of like oil. And it's like a hedge against all these high valued big tech AI, you know, AMD's coming out later. There's, there's like a game going on on Twitter or not Twitter on x.com, thank you, Elon, that um, how many times are they gonna say AI during the, the earnings call? Well, well, we'll see. All I'm saying is, there's no need to, to, to freak out right now. I mean, they, they were trading two years ago, all time highs of $61. Now we're 35 and now we're seven times earnings. Two year, Cut in half. I'm buying it at a discount. It's a trade, too. So it's not like I'm in love with the stock, right? It's not like Kivanchi, right? Kivanchi? Kivanchi? It's, it's not like it's not like you and me, right? We're in love, right? We're in love. In love. No, it's not like that. You know, this is just it's a short term relationship. It's a sling. It's, it's just a. Uh, a one night stand, maybe a couple nights because I may have to stay in here for a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. So let's let's see how things go. But that's just, just that's how you lighten up the mood in the office. Cause I mean, my studio is fairly empty right now. I could set up another desk here, have my one of my buddies trade in here, but we're not doing that. I like, I like my, my little mojo till we open up the actual office. It comes later, a lot later, no rush. Uh, let's just, let's, you know what, we're gonna read some Marcus Aurelius and finish up for the day. And then later tonight I have some dinner with, uh, the missus. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna cut the vlog off short for the day, because this is just a in-studio trading experience and what it's at, like behind the scenes at the, the Swole Capital, uh, Swole Investments. That's just how it is, guys. Let's keep it light today. It's raining. Stay frosty. Save your money, be careful. Catch you guys tomorrow for another. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring like. I guess we'll just see. <laughs>